Hi, my name is Sarah Wilkinson. I'm the uh, EMEA and Latin America CXO Marketing Manager for Paolo Alto Networks. So I'm responsible for CXO Marketing for EMEA and Latin America. Um, my primary responsibilities um, are looking after our um, customer advisory board and our executive advisory councils, programs like that, that we run centrally, summit events as well, but also um, to provide a lot of guidance and best practice to our region, regional teams on how they can engage much better with the C-suite audience. Also look a lot of our data on how our programs um, are performing. Um, and really we just want to be that guiding light um, in terms of how you can create those better relationships with that audience. I'm always encouraging my team to um, watch a lot of webinars. Um, we're a big fan of Bright Talk. Um, we're all, and just also looking at key publications where our C-suite audience um, are also looking. Um, following our analyst firms as well and looking at what trends that they're talking about. Um, and I think really just trying to keep on top of, of what's, what's, what other companies are doing as well um, to engage with, with the, the CXO audience. I have to say I've learned a lot from, um, from attending different events. My biggest learning is um, from a book written by an author called Bev Burgess. And she wrote a book um, quite a while ago now about engaging with the C-suite. And I guess it's kind of become my Bible in terms of that. So I, I, that's a book I refer to quite often. Things are very fast paced in tech. And I think over the years that seems to get faster and faster. Um, so you're always trying to keep up. Um, and I think um, having the time to be able to really think about your strategy sometimes feels like it gets less and less time to do that. But it's so important to keep going back to what's the bigger picture? What are we really trying to achieve? I would say for me personally, in the last two to three, maybe four years, certainly, it's become more of a challenge um, hiring the right people. Um, I remember a few years back, you know, hundreds of CVs coming in, um, and it, that's been a lot more difficult in the last few years. Um, there hasn't been the talent that 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 you are sometimes looking for, um, it's, and it's the process has taken a lot longer than I think it would have done, say, 10 years ago, for example. hundred percent within my role, it is to um, build better relationships with our C-suite audience. That's my number one priority in my job every day. So I think my number one priority is to bring new and impactful, innovative ways that we can do that within the company that I'm in. So I've been in my role now for just over seven months. Um, so I'm, our FY24 starts in August. So I'm really excited to bring forward the plan for FY24 and on how we can do that a lot better. Join the one session so far. Um, I was delighted to be invited. Um, it's, it was a, it's a fantastic agenda. I'm super looking forward to the rest of the sessions. But I think um, I joined the session with Lee Charles um, talking about um, confident communication. And she had some great tips on how to do that. And we all need sometimes to remember how to we can better how we can better communicate 100%. So she had some great tips. I loved when she talked about the message house and having a key message and three key points. I should definitely think about that again um, when I'm communicating, especially to my sort of senior stakeholders. Um, so it's been fantastic so far.